You're listening to a special miniseries of by Shawnita, Real First Wives of Metropolis, Chapter 2. This episode was originally aired January 31st, 2011. Kendallin places the stack of plates on a buffet and counts to make sure that everything needed for a pleasant meal is on the table or near the food. The doorbell rings. She runs a hand over the front of her shirt as she leaves the dining room and goes through the living room toward the door. Lord, help me represent you well. Jesus name. Let's do this. Kendallin inhales and releases a deep breath, then opens the door. Well, hello, ladies. Good to see you again, Carmody and Patranda. Please come in. Let me take your coats. Carmody pulls her gloves off and places them in the pockets of her blush pink wool pea coat before handing it to Kendallin. Patranda hands her fur faux to Kendallin and stands next to Carmody as Kendallin hangs them up in the closet. Kendallin opens her mouth to speak when the doorbell rings again. Looks like our final guest has arrived. Kendallin opens the door and accepts the hug Elaine offers as she steps over the threshold. Hi, Elaine. You're just in time to walk with us all to the dining room as soon as I hang your coat up. Awesome. Elaine takes her purple half-length winter coat off and motions for Kendallin to pass her the hanger. Kendallin gives the hanger to Elaine, who hands it back to Kendallin with the coat secured. Well, ladies, I hope you don't mind. Elaine inspired me to share where we have our services with you like she did. My husband, Adam Thompson, and I pastor an amazing home church group called Word of L-O-V-E Ministries. It's based on the church in Acts. We meet in our homes with periodic services and community service-based events open to the public every six to eight weeks or so. Kendall in motion for everyone to follow her through her living room and into the dining room. I made a Mexican buffet style lunch with dessert chilling in the fridge. I also have some icebreakers for us to get to know each other a little better while we eat. I adore icebreakers. Elaine flashes a big smile at each of the ladies. The buffet looks great. Let's pray and dig in. Great idea, Elaine. Why don't you lead us in prayer? Kendallin nods and stretches her hands toward Patranda and Carmody, standing next to her right inside the entrance of the dining room next to the buffet. Elaine nods and blesses the food. Carmody and Patranda look at each other and then back to the buffet table. So we're serving ourselves? Patranda takes a hesitant step towards the end of the table without the plates. Kendallin and Carmody point toward the plates at the other end. Thanks. I enjoyed the informal feel Elaine started off with and wanted us to really relax and get to know each other. We're going to be seeing a lot of each other doing this show, and I think it'll go better if we all know something about each other. Kendallin picks up a plate behind Carmody and begins compiling a taco salad. That is very smart. I have to admit, I've watched some of those other reality shows about wives, and a lot of the times I think the women would get along better if they were better acquainted. They are all very pretty, though. Elaine places her plate in front of a chair and retrieves a bottle of water from the table before sitting down next to Kendallin. Patranda walks back to the table and sits next to Elaine. Carmody walks back and sits between Patranda and Kendallin. I did catch one of them. Good thing Cheers TV created this show. Women should be allowed to watch as many options as possible. When my husband told me about the opportunity, I knew it was something I wanted to do. Carmody mixes the salad in her bowl. I prayed for a while before I agree. My law practice and community advocacy work takes up a lot of time. If the answer from God hadn't been so clear, I would have been able to say no with a clear conscience. Kendallin sips tea from a frosted glass. You mean God talks to you? Patronda raises one eyebrow at Kendallin, then looks at Carmody and Elaine. He does, in my heart, but I'm referring to a discussion my husband and I had. Kendallin picks up a legal pad next to her plate and flips the page over. So, questions is the first icebreaker. We'll all go around the table and answer one question we pick from the basket in the middle of the table. Oh, I love this game. Can I go first? Elaine leads forward to see the basket. <laughs> yeah. Kendallin chuckles. Go for it. 
Elaine reaches into the basket and pulls out a small folded up piece of paper. She unfolds the paper. My least favorite color is peach because when I wear it, I disappear. It's too close to my skin color. Carmody almost spits her drink out. She shakes her head and smiles. Her hand reaches into the basket. Her piece of paper is half folded and she opens it with one hand. My least favorite kind of music is gangster rap because they are so mean to each other. And I think that people can resolve their issues without using violence and bragging about it is tacky. Are you serious? You cannot be serious. Kendallin places her fork to the right of her plate. Yes, I don't think holy hip hop is bad. Just gangster rap. I don't blame it for the downfall of society. I just think it's tacky. Carmody drops the paper beside the outside of the basket. Patronda reaches her hand into the basket. She reads her paper and smirks. My favorite phrase or personal slogan is, this is not a dream. This is for real. Is that where you came up with the name for your pageant? Carmody said, yes. Patronda smiles. I heard that somewhere before. Kendallin taps her index finger on the table edge. This neo-soul artist at the Sing Cave. Her name is Trueness or something like that. Patronda chokes on the bite of salad she is chewing. You okay? Kendallin leans forward. I'm fine. Patronda forces out as she picks up her bottle of water. Don't think I've ever heard of that artist. Your turn. Kendallin shrugs and takes a paper from the basket. Mozzarella sticks are my favorite food because I love cheese. All of the ladies laugh. Why am I not surprised? Carmody laughs. You are the first person I've ever seen offer three cheese options with taco salad. Interview Patronda. Patronda stands next to a huge cutout of the previous winner of her scholarship pageant. She does a final makeup and teeth check in her handheld mirror before placing it in her purse. Kendallin's little lunch shindig was very nice, and I didn't feel at all like I was in any danger in her part of Metropolis. They actually have a nice-sized house for what they do. She is a lawyer, though, so I didn't expect to be in the hood or anything. The game was fun, although I do wish I'd have gotten a better question than I did. Maybe once they get a few hundred more members, they can finally get a building and start a full ministry. That whole meet at your house thing is cute, but really, who doesn't want to pastor a super mega ministry? I am going to pray for her and Elaine because they seem like nice enough ladies and will probably do fine as first wives in larger ministries. I hope you enjoyed chapter two of Real First Wives of Metropolis, the prequel to Gig Power, Making Moves in Metropolis. Up next is chapter three.